Welcome to ATN, I'm your host Amin Dillon and today I'm here at the grand opening of the newest location for Spirit of Math. Now Spirit of Math is an after school program for high performing students to help them enhance their math skills. Now with 40 locations in North America and countless others internationally, today I'm going to show you exactly why this program is such a hit with students and parents alike. All right, Nicole is joining me here. Nicole is a teacher at Spirit of Mass. So Nicole, how long have you been with the company? A year and a half now. Fantastic, and so what was it about this company that made you decide to come and work here? Um, well, in my undergrad, uh, mathematics, while well, studying mathematics and education, uh, Spirit of Math came up as uh, an a very effective enriched math program, mm -hmm. and uh, I wanted to be a mathematics teacher, and I found this program, the curriculum, uh, appealed both to my mathematics, but also to my, my education right. passion. Okay, so you're a teacher here, so we wanna know what the experience is like so maybe you describe to us what it's like for a student to come out here and be taught by you how do you help them okay so this year I'm teaching grade 9 and 11 um, so one night a week the student will come to a two-hour course both grade 9 and grade 11 um, and it's a full course with its own curriculum so it's different from day school curriculum so in grade 11 for example we're doing it's an enriched calculus course um, and so they'll come and each each week is a full lesson a full calculus lesson but it's enriched so we we pursue both um, problems that you'd find maybe in a, in a typical university calculus class or high school calculus class but also um, problems you'd find on contests so we, we do have a focus on contest um, as well as, so that type of enrichment so problem solving numeracy yeah. mm. now um, I'm not sure if you've had a chance to kind of see children in a typical school environment but really what is the benefit that you've seen for students when they're able to come and be part of this program versus not being a part of it uh, there's a huge benefit definitely uh, even speaking to some of the ATs who've been here for many years at Spirit of Math and then come back to, to help out teaching with Spirit of Math. Um, their, for instance, their marks, the improvement in marks is, is definitely a, one of the huge benefits in school. Um, but also in, in terms of just problem solving skills, Spirit of Math teaches skills that you don't we don't have in day school as much. Um, we focus on basic numerous number skills, uh, core skills, and then problem solving skills, um, abstract problem solving skills from grade one all the way to grade 11. Uh, and it's, it's definitely noticeable compared to not attending. Math. Now I know the students that are part of this program tend to be high performing, um, but I always know, and you know, I'm this way too, I'm sure you're this way too, every person learns at a different rate in a different way. So, you know, even though you have high performance students, you know, do you ever encounter students that just need that extra little bit of help? And if so, how does being a part of this program actually benefit them more than it would be in school? So this program, uh, the high performing, because the, the definition, the way that we define find high performing it really is a focus um, it, it is a focus on skills but it's a focus on on hard work or like work ethic so some students may not you don't have to you have to be a B average student to, to get into spirit of math but in spirit of math you don't have to be the top of the class it's all about working hard so doing your homework and coming to class prepared at, to work with your with your co-students um, and then the teacher is always available to, to give extra help when needed as long as the student it, the responsibility is on the student first to do the work and then the teacher will, will help the student once that work is done so that's also slightly different than, than day school um, but of course teachers we are always here to help with that. Kim Langan is joining me here from Spirit of Math and Kim we're here at the grand opening of your Markham location so tell us a little, a little bit about why this location is so special for you. This location is special because it's actually it's just celebrated its 10th year. Um, it was started as one of our franchise locations and now it is our corporate location and this is a brand new open space. It's really exciting. The parents are here because they really like the fact that the kids now have the same kids who are together but in a much bigger space. Um, it's also exciting because this spirit of math has been known in this area for such a long time and many parents here have helped Spirit of Math develop to what it is today. 
Yeah. Okay, we're actually standing, I guess, in one of the classrooms. So it's actually really interesting walking through because it's like a mini little school. You really do feel that school environment. And this is just one of, I think, 40 that we have in North America, not to mention the ones overseas. So what is the key to success here? Because obviously you've been around for many, many years. You keep expanding. There's so many locations now. There is definitely a need in the community. So what do you think is that important role for Spirit of Math that you've been able to fill for the students? Uh, key to success, number one is look at what makes the kids successful. And that's what we've done and that's how this program was developed was with the kids in the classroom and so we continue to do that. Um, the parents have been the ones who have pushed this forward because they saw that their children were succeeding way beyond the other children. And um, it wasn't just in do they know the math facts, it's can they do the math, can they think properly and then they also see the maturity level go up so much. So it's really the key to success is making something that's good for kids, that's challenging, and um, where the kids can see their progress too. And this is the best time because it's back to school. We have a lot of kids that have either started school or maybe are about to start next week. We've got parents who are getting into that whole role of, you know, getting their children on a routine. So for anyone watching right now, is pretty much the perfect time to kind of go on your website, to go to maybe one of the open houses at any of the nearest locations to them and kind of just find out if this would be a good fit, right? Oh, it's perfect timing. In fact, um, many students find it uh, so exciting to start here. They love making friends right away. But for parents, you want your, your child to get going right away on the right foot. Don't wait until they're having a problem. Actually set them up for success. And um, this, is, this is the time. We actually even have free trial classes that are starting the second week in September. So if you just want to give one class a try without having to worry about paying or making a commitment, it's a nice time for parents to do that. All right, Gordon's joining me, and Gordon is actually a parent of a child that's here at Spirit of Math. So you were telling me your son's been a part of this program for about six years now, so time flies. Oh, take us back six years ago. What was happening that you thought, you know what, perhaps I should enter my son into this program? Well, I think uh, education being an important part in Chinese culture, uh, we were finding ways to sort of improve Justin's background uh, in any way we can. and. My wife actually heard about the Spirit of Math program in, on the internet and through friends. Mm -hmm. And we decided to sign him up uh, in grade 5 class. And he's been here ever since and he's continued to take uh, classes here in grade 11. <laughs> and um, as parents, we've actually attended every single class that Justin has attended throughout the years. That's great. So. Oh, so you've actually seen what it's like when he's learning. So maybe describe it to us. How have you seen how they teach in the environment? That How does it differ from the typical classroom setting? Well, I can't speak for how the typical classroom setting is nowadays. Uh, so I've graduated from high school many decades ago. But uh, I think uh, they teach discipline. Um, they go through every problem with a particular process in terms of how to solve the problem. And I think every student is given attention when where needed uh, for any particular issues they may be dealing with. Now it's been about six years and you know it's great that you and your wife come out and join your son for the actual classroom session but I know a lot of his take home, a lot of work needs to be done at home, homework. So you know being a parent you know I think sometimes the biggest challenge is getting your child to sit down in their own free time and put in the work and a lot of subjects like math it needs that work, it needs that you know practice. So you know how do you find that your son has benefited from this program in terms of learning to be disciplined and taking what he learns in this classroom here and taking it home with him? Well, I think in the beginning it was a bit of an adjustment for, for, for Justin because, uh, as you said, it was a brand new program and all of a sudden he had this extra workload to deal with. So I think in the first month or so it was, it was a bit of a struggle. Uh, but I think as parents, uh, I think we helped him a bit to get started. I think Spur of the Math uh, expect parents to actually assist their child mm -hmm. in the beginning and I would say after his first year he was all on his own after that in terms of uh, doing the work and um, found a way to find time to do the work and his regular school work 
And as far as the mat goes, um, it's helped him tremendously because I think in the last few years he's been in the top of his class for the last few years in, in high school. Yes. You must be very, very proud of him. So, you know what, as a parent, I just want to ask you one last question. How do we make schoolwork, especially math, fun? Because I think it's not just about giving them the opportunity. It's about, you know, making sure that they have the tools to feel confident in, in doing any of the programs or uh, being able to take on the subject matter, but also to make it fun for them, right? So how do you do that as a parent? Um, sometimes, actually, we participate in doing the problems. Mm -hmm. And we can't, I can't challenge him to see, can you forget this out? I forget it out. I think I got the answer. Uh, but I think it helps kids if they have the confidence and they're successful at what they do. I think that instills uh, motivation in them to do it. And I think by the same token, it makes it fun for them that they can actually solve these problems that they won't have no, maybe have normally solved without, uh, without the program. Thank you everybody for, for being here. This is a very exciting time because this campus now has just finished celebrating its 10th year. So not only is this 10 years of being the spirit of math in Markham West, but we now have a new location which as you can see is spacious, it's sharp, it's really fun to come to, and we're hoping the students will have some fun too here. Spirit of math itself, many people will think of uh, an after-school math program is something that you would do just so that you can get better because you're having problems in math during the day but in fact this was developed because parents wanted more than what was being offered in the day school and they wanted their kids to be able to compete globally and because of that and they saw the value in the problem solving that we were giving the kids the value in the community itself that it's actually been growing because of the parents and the kids themselves the parents have been terrific they are parents who really care about education. In this area in particular, the parents are a very strong community. They care de dearly about education and their children to ensure that their children get what's the best for them. So we have been always challenged to meet their expectations and I appreciate any uh, of what the parents are asking for. And in particular, in this particular campus, um, there's been a lot of really good, valuable feedback, and we really appreciate that. So this is actually a very special campus to me because of the length of time it's been here and because of the, all the, the parents who are a very strong community. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you all to our new and big, beautiful campus. Uh, I'm really excited to work here. This is my second year with Markham West and Spirit of Math. And this is all the more exciting because of the kind of uh, environment we have come up with this year. So we hope that this year would be really, really good for each one of you. Our community at Markham is simply amazing. Uh, this is an excellent, safe and developed neighborhood to raise children. We all understand that education is a joint venture between school and home. As we work with our students to help them learn about the world in which they are growing up, we very much appreciate the support they get at home. And how the parents are working together in Markham is simply amazing to see. Um, I look forward to working with all of you and developing a relationship that will assist in the growth of our students and towards a successful year. Thank you and welcome again. First of all, you know, I would like to bring you know, congratulations to uh, the uh, new uh, campus owner. And as a matter of fact, you, know, uh, you have uh, made a very smart choice because you know, um, I think one of you know the reasons uh, for you know a, success, a successful business is to have a, a very uh, you know uh, low cost and in the city of Markham, well you pay forty percent less property tax compared with city of Toronto. So this is you know uh, one of you know the benefits you you will enjoy. And the second thing is you know in the city of Markham we have a lot of you know concerned. Parents, they're very concerned about their kids' education. 
And uh, as a matter of fact, you know, my two boys were uh, students, you know, for uh, spirit math. And uh, as I just said, uh, my elder son is now, you know, in the medical school. And my my uh, younger son, he just finished, you know, a pilot program. And he's going, you know, to a, a, a master program, you know, this September. And I still remember that um, when they graduated uh, from high school, <coughs> They got average, you know, 96 and 94. So uh, I, th I think, you know, Spirit, uh, Spirit of Math, you know, has done a very good job, you know, f uh, uh, to enrich, you know, uh, their mathematical skill. And uh, in another thing is, you know, uh, we have a lot of, you know, uh, very good high schools here in the city of Markham and also, you know, in this area. One of them is very close to here. Uh, the you know uh, uh, Unionville High School very close to here. Of course, you know uh, another one is uh, Pierre Trudeau High School. They these two are two of the top ten high schools in Canada. So what what a wonderful thing you know to have your location here. I wish you all the best uh, in the coming years, and I believe that you know you will do a very good job to help our students. Thank you very much. Welcome to ATN's tribute to 100 years of Indian cinema. world's largest producer of feature films and the Indian film industry is the oldest and largest in the world with more than 1,200 movies releasing annually. The provision of 100% foreign direct investment in India has made the Indian film market attractive for foreign enterprises such as 20th Century Fox, Sony Pictures, Walt Disney Pictures and Warner Brothers. Indian film industry is now a multi-billion dollar industry. More than 30 film production companies have been listed in the National Stock Exchange of India, making the commercial presence of the medium felt. <laughs> Films by Indian directors like Sachiti Bray, Yash Chopra, Sham Benegal and Mani Ratnam have been screened in various international film festivals. Recently, the Indian film industry completed a century of making films. The Lumiere brothers held the first public showing of their silent film in 1896 in Mumbai. The father of Indian cinema, Dada Sahib Falke, created history by making the first ever indigenous Indian feature film, Raja Harish Chandra. ATN has produced a Canadian television series of over 200 episodes as a tribute to 100 years of Indian cinema. The series has featured over 100 celebrities from the world's largest film industry with an international perspective and has featured exclusive interviews with stalwarts of the Indian film industry including movie stars, producers, directors, music composers, and playback singers.
The series has been produced at ATN's new High Definition Studios and Broadcast Centre in Markham, Ontario, Canada. The series features precious and exclusive footage from ATN's vast original Canadian production archives, some of which may not be available anywhere else in the world. You've loved them, dreamt of them, worshipped them, cheered for them, laughed with them, cried with them, dressed like them, danced like them, sung along with them. Isn't it time you celebrated them? So ATN now presents a tribute to 100 years of Indian cinema. Tumko dekha. Zin 